Civil engineering is really concerned about infrastructure, about cities, about people. Sustainability is a big issue, climate change is a big issue, and we need civil engineers to help us solve those problems. From finding new ways to tackle long-standing issues like the drinking water crisis that exists across many Indigenous communities in Canada, helping with the roadways that we're driving on to make those more sustainable, finding ways to recycle materials. Civil engineering at the University of Calgary is a great place to learn hands-on experience about the world that we live in and how to challenge the problems that are facing us today and how to really build sustainable communities. I really enjoy the civil engineering program here because of how customizable the program is. So you can really tailor it to what you want. We have a lot of minors that we can choose from. I'm currently in the energy and environment engineering minor. There's also structural and transportational and you just have so much freedom here to do what you want. I really enjoyed civil because of the collaborative aspects. Um, being able to collaborate in the classroom and in labs, uh, it's awesome. Each year there's a different sort of group project that you work within a team and people just taking different responsibilities and learning how to work together is very important, especially since that's how it is in the workforce. You'll be working with a team and I think that's really prepared me. There's also a lot of opportunities to expand your technical knowledge outside of the classroom here at Schulich. There are so many opportunities on this campus and there are so many student-led clubs and not only is that a great way to boost your own portfolio, but it's the best way to meet everyone who's doing this with you. I would recommend being involved as much as you can, especially early on. We run lots of events, there are lots of ways that you can meet new people, meet industry people. I did the Spain Through the Eyes of an Engineer program and it was an amazing experience. We got to learn and work in the university in Malaga, which is in southern Spain. It's awesome that Chula can offer something like that and for a pretty like discounted cost as well. There is a program called Elevate where students can find a lot of internship opportunities that are tailored for students here. For my internship, I'm working for Elliston as a general contractor. The internship experience has been invaluable and that is really what pushes you beyond your classroom knowledge. There's a whole element, I think, of civil engineering that requires you know, some field experience and we really want to give people that, that sort of full experience about what it's like to be a civil engineer. There is so much um, diversity in what a civil engineer can do outside of school. Whether you're interested in the PM side or the technical side or drafting or consulting, all of these things are opportunities that you can do as a civil engineer. We will always need civil engineers to build the communities that we live in. But it's also a really fantastic foundation for any other discipline that you choose to take on, whether it be law or policy. Policy is a big part of what we do. And I think there's a real big leadership role for civil engineers make recommendations to governments about what they should do, what they shouldn't do, how they should think about things to help make the better decisions. And for that, you need to work with forestry experts if you're looking at reducing forest fires and you need to engage with people in tourism, as an example. Civil engineers often take the role of project managing, of being that person that brings all of those things together, and that's a unique skill set. I think that civil engineering and the Schulich School of Engineering is a really innovative and entrepreneurial space and that gives engineers at Schulich School of Engineering an advantage to be able to see forward and into the future about how to solve the problems of tomorrow, today.